The socionomic hypothesis is that things we often think of as causes are not causes at all, but effects, and the things we think of as effects are causes. The general consensus on the street and in the market is when there's a move in the market, this move was catalyzed or triggered by a piece of data, a piece of news, an economic event, that this cause and effect relationship starts with the outside cause affecting the market. Socionomics reverses that. Very rarely do we consider the hemline on skirts to be related to politics or the type of popular music going on right now to be related to the economy. That's, that's not usually the way we think. And this hypothesis uh, challenges you to think that way. To further illustrate this point, Prechter applied the socionomic insight to the Enron scandal. When the Enron scandal broke, it was a common view that it discouraged investors and hurt investor confidence. The fact is, it did nothing of the kind. In this chart, practice shows that the social mood represented by the stock market had trended negatively for a year and a half before the Enron scandal broke. As the scandal developed, stocks actually rose, and so did other gauges of social mood, such as consumer sentiment. <laughs> 